Before we start this video, you might want to go grab yourself a beverage. You're going to need it. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. If you're new around here, I post a new fly fishing video every Monday. We got a quick video for you today and then we'll have a beer at the end like we usually do. Today's video is about rod tubes and how to use them. These are rod tubes. They are for storing your fish pole. Also for walking around in the airport and looking cool. Some are short, some are long. This one's for a two-piece rod. Don't ever buy a two-piece rod if you can avoid it. Some are round, some are not round. Some have a real case on them. Some are metal, some are plastic. Oh, this one says Tankara. Somebody must have pulled that out of the trash. Some rod tubes are multi-rod tubes and meant for carrying more than one rod. I use these a lot. Some rod tubes have compartments inside, others come with a sock. It might seem like a rod tube is a really simple thing and there's not much to it. And you're right, but they're not all the same. Let's talk about pretty much the only thing you do with the fly rod tube. You put your fish pole in it. Well, how do we do that? We'll demonstrate with this new fish pole I got from my buddy Marty at Deep Bend Rod Works. It's fiberglass. It's a little fiberglass three-way. All right, so I just went out and got skunked and now I'm gonna put my rod away and have a beer. You'll notice that the compartments in this rod sock are different sizes. Also, the sections of the rod are different sizes. What do you think we're gonna do here? Yes, we're gonna put the thickest section in the thickest compartment. And I'm gonna do it with the handle up so it's easier to grab when I wanna take it out. Same thing with the next section. Doesn't matter which way you do it. And the next one. All right, now here comes the tricky part. Please pay attention. You are going to put the tip section in the skinniest compartment so that the tip top of the rod is near the cork handle. The cork handle is gonna protect the tip top of the rod. That's how this works. That's the only thing you need to know. How important is this? Probably not very important at all, but I do it anyway. It just makes me feel better. It's part of my routine. Well, that seems like a pretty short video, so I guess I can talk about rod tubes for another minute before we have a beer. I like rod tubes that aren't round. That way they don't roll around on me. I know it's not that big of a deal, but I like it. I like a rod tube with a strap on it so that I can put my backpack straps through there. It makes it more secure when you're strapping it on your backpack to hike somewhere. Again, not that big of a deal, but a nice little touch. So for me, this rod tube is a lot more useful than this rod tube. You might think they're both just tubes, and they are, but they are not the same. If I'm hiking to a lake, I want this one or walking around the airport. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope that maybe you learned something or maybe you got to watch a video on the clock at work. All right, don't forget you can stop by the website, hugeflyfisherman.com and pick yourself up some Huge Fly Fisherman stuff. I will be back next week with another new video. Until then, stay tubular and stay huge. Let's do this. <sighs> kind of want to make this quick because I have a lot of stuff to do. But I also want to relax and I want to make this video to eight minutes so I can put commercials in it. Thanks for watching the commercials. I appreciate it. But uh, it's part of, part of what all this is. I think you know that. Hence me with all the logos everywhere. My phone's ringing. Should I take the call? No, we won't. Hey, you're on YouTube. Uh, so, what's new? Uh, I like that now I keep, a I ask you, you know, how you're doing and stuff. And over the winter is all, well, I'm waiting for ice out. Uh, it's freezing cold. Now I'm getting a lot of responses. Oh, pike fishing, smallmouth, smallmouth fishing, stuff like that. So, cool. Hope you're getting out. Um, getting ready to go on a trip, 
by the time you watch this, I will already be back from that trip uh, by like a day or so. So, Ben, how was it? How was it? I don't know, because I haven't gone there yet. It's a bit of a time warp right here right now. Uh, I just recorded a podcast with TU Five Rivers. That is um, like college fly fishing clubs that get together under the umbrella of Trout Unlimited, kind of. And uh, they learn about fly fishing and do cool stuff. So I just reported, recorded that podcast this morning. It should be coming out right around this time. If it's out, I'll, I'll leave a link. Uh, or I'll just put the link in after it comes out because I'm talking about it. So link down below. And go and check out Marty's website. Uh, I think he has a website. I haven't even checked, but it's Deep Bend Rod Works. You can find him on Instagram for sure. Uh, he built me a fun little rod that I'm excited to play with. And dude, Marty, I don't have a reel for this rod. I do, but they're old and junky and I wanna get a new one. So I'm gonna get a new reel and probably a line, I guess. And then we'll go do some small stuff around here with that rod uh, this summer. That'll be fun. <laughs> I think it'll be fun, a fun rod for the kids also. I'm not exactly a fiberglass nut, but it has its place. So they're fun. That's it, I'm done. Uh, right now I have to finish up the video that came out last week for you watching this. So I got more work to do, I'm in the studio getting stuff done. Love you. See you next time.